Here at Southland Organics, we help growers find effective, natural solutions for natural problems at a molecular level. Our goal is to help your farm be as strong and secure as possible. Now, last week we talked about the organics side of Southland Organics and how it's not just for organic farmers. In fact, 90% of the farmers who use our products are conventional commercial poultry farmers. The active carbon, beneficial bacteria, and organic acids simply follow nature's design. They work, and they just happen to be organic. As a reminder, being OMRI listed for organic use, USDA certified, all natural, PCO certified organic, and non-GMO, our products likely meet more ABF requirements than anything else in your chicken house. We also gave some tips on how you can get approval from your integrators and service techs for approved use of our products on your farm. Speaking of the gatekeepers, we hear regularly about how straining and difficult it can be to appease service techs and integrators. Now, as a farmer, you already have to struggle to have healthy, profitable flocks. The last thing you need is a rocky relationship with your integrator. That's why we want to share some advice on integrator relations from our friend and poultry farmer, Jason Jackson. Tell me some of the challenges you've had to deal with or, or some of the successes you've had when dealing with your integrator. Certainly. Um, you know, I, I would have to say that not just dealing, you know, with my own integrator, but watching and seeing um, a lot of other poultry growers. Service techs come and go, all right, and that tends to be a point of contention. Sometimes the personalities don't mesh. Sometimes they do, but it's not just the service techs; it's all company personnel. The personalities sometimes are not exactly in sync with the grower. And I'd have to say that the best tip I can give on that is just be kind. Mm. You know, you treat people the way you want to be treated and the way you'd like to be treated. Um, it goes a long way. Mm. I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that if we can, if we can give each other mutual respect, it, it, it pays off. Sometimes you have to bite your tongue a little bit. Sometimes you have to speak your mind. Yeah. And it's a give and take situation but learning how to read people and be nice to them even when they're not being nice to you sometimes is difficult but it does seem to pay off you're not escaping life as a poultry girl you're still having to deal with the politics Absolutely. you're still having to deal with people you're still having to be kind i loved your story about um you know m most people pay attention to the to the catch crew tell Share your story about your um, your feed operator. Yeah, well, you know, really, I, I would say that we've got a we've got a lot of people who like to take care of their catch crews, and they like to leave them a little little snack and a little bit of drink or something along those lines uh, on catch night. But I, I decided that I wanted to do a little something for our feed truck drivers. So you know, I, I set up a, a, a coffee pot at each each set of my feed bins. Where they can make instant coffee mm. and you know it, it's just a simple task i'm not even a coffee drinker i don't even like coffee but i know that these guys are out there sometimes at, at crazy hours and awful weather and their job's pretty difficult mm. when you talk about trying to drive that big truck in and out of of some some places sometimes some farms are not very easy to access and the crazy drivers on the road, it's hard enough for me to drive my pickup truck yeah. with some of the crazy drivers. And they're driving, you know, a much bigger, much heavier machine. So I thought maybe I need to be kind to those guys too. So mm. setting that coffee maker up, it was great. I didn't really know if it was paying off till I had a truck driver that left a feed ticket for me. And he wrote on the feed ticket, he said, thanks so much for the coffee. It made a awful day somewhat better. And then left his name. And when I saw that, I, I realized that hey, paying, you know, paying it forward does help. Now, whether or not that helped me with feed or not, I guarantee you it helped that guy's day be a little bit better. 
And if that guy's day was a little bit better, well, he's probably going to do his job a little bit better. Maybe at the next farm he goes to, may not have helped me that day, but it probably helped somebody else. Absolutely. That's, that's such a that's a beautiful, heartwarming deal, but you're it, paying it forward. Absolutely. Jason's story of generosity and kindness is a good reminder, especially in this season of giving. You never know how a simple gesture might help develop trust with those you have to work with. As always, if you need help with approvals, strengthening your natural defenses, or simply would like to learn more, the Southland Organics team is here. Connect with me, Alan Reynolds, at 800-608-3755 or alan at southlandorganics.com. Don't forget to subscribe because we are constantly adding great educational content to help keep your farm healthy.